Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about P and P and NP complete problems. First of all, we must know about what are the P problems, right? P problems are those problems which are solvable in polynomial time, right? These are the problems which are solved in time big O and raised to power K, where N is the size of input and K is a constant, right? So the problems which are solved in polynomial time are called P problems, right? For example, there is a problem X, right? And there is an algorithm A which solves this problem X, right? And the time complexity of this algorithm A is big O n square, right? Where n is the size of input, right? Now see, the time complexity of the algorithm which solves this problem x is big O n square, right? Where n is the size of input, right? So it means this problem x is solved in polynomial time. Therefore, this problem X is a P problem, right? Now see, next is, next is NP problems. NP problems are those problems which are verifiable in polynomial time, right? A problem is an NP problem if its solution can be verified in polynomial time, right? Now, a problem is an NP problem if uh, the solution of that problem is given to us and in polynomial time, we can verify that whether the given solution for that problem is correct or not, right? For example, suppose there is a problem X, right? And for that problem X, a solution S is given to us, right? Now, there is an algorithm A. This algorithm A in polynomial time verifies that whether the given solution for this problem X is correct or not, right? This algorithm A verifies in polynomial time whether the given solution for this problem X is correct or not, right? So this problem X is an NP problem, right? Because it is verifiable in polynomial time, right? If the solution of this problem X is given to us, then we can verify it in polynomial time that uh, whether the given solution for this problem X is correct or not, right? Now, all P problems are NP problems, right? P problems are subset of NP problems. Now see, P problems are solvable in polynomial time, right? So if any solution for a P problem is given to us, then we can verify it in polynomial time whether the given solution for the problem is correct or not, right? Because P problems are solvable in polynomial time. So if any solution is given to us for any P problem, then it can be verified in polynomial time whether the given solution is correct or not. So all P problems are NP problems, right? Next is NP hard problems. NP hard problems are those problems which are not solvable in polynomial time, right? For NP hard problem, there is no known polynomial time solution, right? Next is NP complete problems. NP complete problems are those problems which are NP hard as well as NP, right? These are those problems which are not solvable in polynomial time, right? But if any solution for them is given to us, then it can be verified in polynomial time whether the given solution for the problem is the correct solution of the problem or not, right? So NP complete problem are those problems which are NP hard as well as NP, right? They are not solvable in polynomial time but they are verifiable in polynomial time, right? If any solution for them is given to us, then it can be verified in polynomial time whether the given solution for the problem is correct or not, right? For example, subset sum problem, right? First of all, we must know what is the subset sum problem, right? 
Now, what is the subset sum for problem, right? A set S of integers is given to us, right? And we have to find a subset of set S so that sum of elements of uh, this subset is a particular number n, right? It is the subset sum problem, right? For example, suppose this set S is given to us, right? This set S is a set of integers, right? Now we have to find a subset of set S such that the sum of elements of uh, that subset is 5, right? Now, this problem is not solvable in polynomial time, right? It is an anti-hard problem, right? But if a solution of this problem is given to us, then we can verify it in polynomial time, whether the given solution is a correct solution of this problem or not, right? For example, suppose uh, this subset A of set S is given to us, right? This subset A of set ha S has only two elements, right? This set A is a subset of set S and it has only two elements, right? Minus one and six, right? So it can be verified in polynomial time that uh, whether the sum of all elements of uh, this set A is five or not, right? So this subset sum problem is verifiable in polynomial time, right? Similarly, suppose uh, there is another subset B of set S is given to us, right? This set B has only two elements, two and six, right? Now, we can verify it in polynomial time where the, this solution is the correct solution of this subset problem or not, right? We can verify it in polynomial time whether the sum of all elements of set B is 5 or not, right? Whether this uh, set B is the correct solution of this subset problem or not, right? So, the subset sum problem is an NP-complete problem, right? Because it is not solvable in polynomial time, but if the solution of uh, this problem is given to us, then we can verify it in polynomial time whether the given solution is correct or not, right? Since the subset sub problem is an NP hard problem as well as an NP problem, therefore subset sum problem is an NP complete problem.